Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here back for another video session 85 how to day trade any market the $1,000 a day challenge now in today's video you'll see over two days I was well and truly up above my target trading well under an hour each day now for the young guns that want to earn a lot more than a thousand dollars a day uh, you simply increase your position size but at the same time still sticking with our money management rules absolutely critical and we'll talk more about that as we get into this session and of course what I teach in these sessions trade is you can apply to futures for or stocks now you'll see in today's video uh, I'm using Renko charts I love tick charts as well but I use Renko because for newer traders they find that of them a lot easier to trade and quite frankly the patterns are much more obvious but you can apply what I teach you to any sort of chart type the other thing too is you'll see that I'm generally trading from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time up to around 4 a.m. Eastern Standard and the reason being uh, as I'm down under in Australia at the moment uh, that's daylight hours uh, down under so that sort of suits me to be sort of trading in those hours I love it around midnight Central Standard Time through to about 3 a.m. before I start my live trading room uh, so that works uh, really well for me however the strategies work brilliantly 23 24 hours a day it doesn't really matter when you apply what I teach what will uh, be different is perhaps the time frames for an example you will see generally in these sessions I'm trading a four or six tick Renko where during the uh, during the New York session you'd be trading typically a 12 tick Renko so you're going to increase the time frame because the markets a lot quicker now for an example let me quickly show you this right now now this I'm recording uh, this video here at what time is it here 452 in the afternoon at is um, what time is that there it's uh, uh, 52 minutes after the hour Central Standard Time okay so this is a six tick now it's actually ticking along quite quickly at the moment normally it's not this fast uh, and this is not fast by the way but it's ticking over quite nicely so I would be trading between a four and a six tick uh, chart now uh, and just while we're here you'll hear me talk about the high of day major support resistance areas so since midnight I've got the high I've got the low uh, I had a there would have been a beautiful divergence trade there another little one there uh, but if you're trading with the trend there's a t20 just there there's a 21 there's a 34b down of the low of day if we just go back here a little bit uh, for members watching this you can see there you've got some uh, they were probably uh, t12s on your higher time frame as well but you've also got to be very careful traders when you see your major EMAs going sideways that's really a good time to be sitting on hands but what can you see here see that's yesterday's open see how we're bouncing between yesterday's close yesterday's open yesterday's close up here we've got uh, our typical uh, for members watching this this is our t3 beautiful t3 and then you've got a t20-1 effectively over here and that there traders on your anchor chart one almost certainly would have been a t10 but anyway I'm not going to let the <laughs> live charts hijack our session because there's a lot I want to get through uh, just see, now here is another by the way <laughs> you've got a, for members watching this and even for the general public that's a 2b okay so your run of the mill trades that you're going to take every single day here 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 these are your everyday setups that you want to be taking for the experienced traders what we've got there and for members you've got to bounce off the hive day with great divergence okay so and look over here you've got a beautiful 200 overshoot here and a bounce off yesterday's close once you learn how to trade these areas you can trade in between these areas and these areas also become what we call price magnets but let's get back 
to this PowerPoint I want to try to keep it well under 45 minutes because there's a ton I want to share with you today now as always uh, there is a risk in trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose most of you know the drill and if you haven't already you can click on the link below to get hold of my ebook but also the spreadsheets that I uh, refer to in my videos you can download those they are free you can just simply go down below and request those as well better still become a, a member before you become a member make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up okay but you love my videos now uh, a very quick advertisement just a one minute ad uh, for $197 all of my indicators if you've got a platform um, look I've got indicators for an example for think or swim were provided by members but I've got specific coded indicators for trade station and NT8 uh, we've got indicators there for MT4 but either way I give you the indicator settings that I use and you can set my strategies up on basically just about any trading platform but it's over 38 powerpoints hundreds of hours of training and even better still I also have a special going at the moment where you can attend eight live and they're also recorded two hour group coaching sessions where I'm teaching you step by step how to trade load those like for an example how to trade my setups the setups I just showed you I'm walking you through step by step from the right hand screen how we trade those all for only 197 for lifetime access now after the first month if you like what you see you can drop me an email and you can keep attending the coaching sessions for $97 a month okay end of advertisement let's get into this you see this in every one of my videos you've got to have a target traders now for every just about really 98% of a population a thousand dollars a day working part-time from home a couple of hours a day all right is the life changer how do you achieve that forget what you see on most of the YouTube's where they're showing you 500 to a thousand dollars a day is that possible it is certainly if you put the hours in and especially during the New York session however there's a lot more stress involved in that as well what's a realistic target you romp a, well let me take that away you you can romp a hundred dollars a day in up to 300 a day my average target as you'll see is between two and three hundred a day on five lots some traders will say why don't you trade a hundred lots traders I'm in my 60s I don't need to trade and uh, 100 lots and I don't need the stress I trade what suits my personality and my risk profile I'm very happy with what I earn on five lots but this is the point I want to get across here traders by trading $100 a day that is something that is so achievable for basically every trader for an example just here just on those two setups we just had now they are 34b and our two B's each one of those steps traders is $15 okay each one of those and this is what we call and we'll see well actually this is very similar to my session not yesterday the day before I'm going to be reviewing today okay and this is what we call the sweet spot trading so this is live it's not playback or anything like that it's down there you can see it's um, uh, there it is ticking away over the timestamp so uh, this is live traders so that's what we're after the sweet spot trading so this is so achievable and what actually happens you develop both your confidence and your competence by going for a sensible target each day now why do I always come back to this in my videos and um, this is so much article so many articles out there about goal setting and understanding what it does to us mentally and achieving our targets um, a, a poor man is not a man or sorry a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a cent but one without a dream one without a goal and it's now proven if you have goals and I'm not talking about ridiculous goals I mean it's okay to reach for the stars and hit the moon but once again what it does to our brain and the neuro connections is so much evidence and this is only part of the article if you haven't already go to dr. Andrew Huberman's Huberman on um, and this is the guy he, he's a neuroscientist and uh, I'm writing to science and research 
okay and there's so much information now just about uh, the power of belief and what it does to us mentally we create our own good luck but it's science based now so he's got dozens upon dozens of videos out there so this is why I come back to the goal setting because it's so important for you now that then ties in to the type of uh, patterns that I'm looking for I'm looking for patterns in my trading nothing mathematical the visual patterns what I just showed you on that live screen there are patterns and what we're about to look at are patterns that we see appear in the market day in day out it does not matter which market you trade the markets are what we call fractal in nature what you have a pattern you might get on a on say a 50 tick chart uh, if you're trading the tick chart itself or a one minute chart will set up in a bigger version on a five minute or a 15 minute chart or a 50 minute chart all right it's fractals you've got fractals within fractals I won't get into the science of it but uh, it's patterns what's that mean to us well humans are great at learning pattern recognition now another critical part to my trading is this um, what's our house edge and I like to look at it and at times I'll talk to my members that you've got to learn to trade like a casino do you see the casino changing their rules because I've just had four or five losses in a row now I want to try to avoid four or five losses in a row and we do that with high probability strategy strategies but there is going to be a time when you have that so what you've got to do is look at your trades over 20 trades so the individual trade means nothing anything could happen but we look at the probability of our trades over 20 trades and of course our trading edge is improved by only trading rules based strategies applying discipline patience money management and thinking and trading in probabilities uh, you see traders I know that if I've got a loss I've got a, a, a much better even the next trade is much is, is higher probability of being a winner we think and trade in probabilities I don't want to get there um, and spend too much time on that but I just thought of one other thing I received an email from a, uh, a gentleman that watched uh, one of my videos I recorded this a couple of years ago on mastering the art of day trading by mastering your mind with NL P neuro linguistic programming and the reason I just bring that up we're just talking for a couple of minutes then about head stuff and trading now I'm not a certified NLP practitioner but it's over 40 years now I've been practicing NLP and been a very very keen student so uh, if you saw my library most of you know I've got a massive library I'm a huge reader uh, and I love NLP which is a study of verbal and nonverbal communication and there's so much out there and so the the fathers of uh, NLP are Richard Bandler and John Grindler and in fact Tony Robbins was actually trained by John Grindler he never finished his certification uh, it when he's is I think he was 21 at the time but the fact is he got so excited and that's what the majority of his work is actually uh, based upon so you'll hear me talk a lot about that and we've got to work harder on our mindset and where we are mentally than what we do on our trading so getting back to this I was off ill last week I got a throat virus and so I had a number of recordings I uh, from the week before I just didn't have a chance so I'm not going to uh, go I'll just mention this chart here before we get on to the next one and we'll actually go to the charts uh, but I'm playing catch up so I'm going to just show you this one here now for members watching this we have a lot of members from naturally watching my YouTube videos uh, this is called by the way for everyone this is called an overlay chart so what I've got down here in the lower part of the chart is a number of indicators that I use on my anchor chart one so I trade in the direction of a higher time frame so what we've got here is 12 minutes of trading 
uh, this is 1 a.m. Central Standard Time basically and remember you can trade any time of day as long as the markets moving for an example you get home and most of my clients members are in the USA you get home at 6 p.m. Eastern the market opens the market closes the futures market set is closes at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, uh, central and opens up at 6 p.m. so it opens up an hour later so uh, yes the volumes not the same but that's good because it's slower but anyway this suits me so what I had here was and I'll just briefly explain these setups so first of all for members watching this I missed this t3 a t3 is um, uh, what we call a reversion to the mean trade and uh, it kicks butt it does really well except around news I don't trade around news I trade the reaction to the news so you just want to be aware of that so what I did have here though is I jumped in on this t10 setup now a t10 is also known as a kaching trade been around since the day dot okay so thank you very much I got in there and scalped uh, that trade thank you now I then had this was actually basically a three legged pullback usually after a big sell off like this we call this angulation you usually see a two legged pullback I want you to notice here on this is an 89 EMA I'm bouncing off the 89 and I've got divergence in the direction of the trend now with this particular trade uh, uh, trading session this was on a four tick uh, Renko if it's too fast you simply increase the time pro you'll jump up usually do a six if it gets too fast on the six usually you'll jump up to the eight okay so I had a 2b and I stayed with this trade and and this is where I constantly struggle with my own trading is and that is I'm a scalper at heart I like to get in get out the way I look at it I can always uh, re-enter I stayed with this particular trade right back down to here which was nice however it pulled back a number of times and I was thinking oh shoot have I done the right thing and um, uh, here we kept bouncing note the downtrend I had another potential entry here and I um, re-entered here um, and basically covered both lots of trades uh, down here you can't see all those but they're all covered at that point now with that the main point here is I want to get across if you're a new trader you want to trade with the trend okay trading with the trend avoid the t3s okay avoid the t10s initially trade with the trend until you're consistently profitable now each one of these steps I call these steps here now this is a, a what we call a four tick Renko so it means that each candle is four ticks from the low to the high and each step is worth uh, ten dollars okay so on the NQ market it's worth ten dollars a step okay so you only need ten steps let's just say 11 and you've covered your there's your one hundred dollars so when I was talking to you a few minutes ago uh, about a cheat oh was I talking about a hundred dollars here I uh, know <laughs> I did I mention that in this video I think I did yes up there I did sorry I've uh, been coaching today I've got some one-on-one -on -one clients I've been coaching I had a, a coaching two hour coaching class this morning really I sometimes forget where I am anyway um, you can just see how realistic uh, taking these now the white paint bar is called my scalper super scalper and that's where we want to be following the super scalper particularly on the NQ okay so let's now talk about um, uh, a session from two days ago now uh, let me just pause the video I just want to show you something here now this is the uh, this is from yesterday so I haven't done any trading from yesterday so uh, here I had um, what do we have here we had six trades for five wins and I'm gonna as soon as I finish this recording this will be session uh, 80 87 no 86 by the way um, I just have it I'll record this after this session but the point is this is the one we're about to go through now and the very next day I did this one I just don't have enough hours in a day traders to record every video but the point is this is what we call the sweet spot the sweet spot 
and this is um, uh, from two days ago the sweet spot is where we're trading uh, in the direction of a higher time frame we're looking for the retracements on our uh, entry chart in the direction of the overall trend in fact we just had that scenario here on the six tick where we had the sweet spot kick in look at that there right you would have finished if your target was um, uh, your one to two hundred sorry uh, there was this is a six tick so if your target was three hundred dollars per contract you just romp that in okay you just absolutely romped that in with this sell-off so we see this every day and this is where it comes down to patience and just waiting for those setups now let me run through these we are going to go to the charts actually so I'll run through these directly on the charts now when I'm trading a six tick my target is three hundred dollars per day per contract that's basically fifteen hundred if I'm trading a four tick it's two hundred a day per contract so a minimum of a thousand dollars a day so when I you hear me talk about blue skies ahead what I mean is there's nothing in front of my trade I've got no pivots there's um, you know I've got blue sky all the way down now to trade this market stay with me because this is important before we get to the charts unfortunately so many traders don't want to hear this they skip through this and they wonder why they're not making money and you know what I'll let people because of this so they won't like my video they'll give me well, I don't know thumbs down or whatever bad luck I'm making money no I shouldn't be cocky like that seriously this is where you can start you can start from here um, uh, it's a great spot to start even if you've got for, for an example if you're going to trade the six tick Renko doing it correctly as I teach you you ideally need around six thousand dollars now because we never ever want to risk any more than two percent of our account which is one hundred and twenty dollars okay now how do we get there if you don't have six hundred uh, six thousand very simple you start off with six hundred you trading the micro contract now of course if you're trading Forex you're trading uh, the micro contracts there okay so you start off with 600 and we've got exactly the same goal except it's 10 percent so it's not exactly the same goal is it but you've got 10 percent of your daily target there what this actually means here traders within 12 weeks I've now got a six thousand dollar account of course I do have to legally say potentially but if you follow the rules just thirty dollars a day and now you can roll over and start trading the big contract now how this works and very quickly for members that haven't seen this before you only start trading an additional contract every time you double your money so unlike some ridiculous compounding sheets we see out there you're using the markets money and what's happening here is you're building both your confidence and your competence at the same time once you've hit that six thousand you can then roll over and start targeting 308 now why 300 because it's extremely realistic now if you're trading during New York you will need to have a larger account if you're trading safely the way I do it but if you don't have a larger account you start on the micros okay so um, uh, but but also trading during the after hours market is a great spot to start because the market is so much slower now here's what this means following the exact same rule 300 a day uh, per contract within 11 weeks so I'm now up to my 10,000 a week income whatever or whatever income you're after 5,000 a week within eight weeks and look at your trading account is now 54,000 now I do have to say this that I traded a 0.5 to a 1% risk parameter this is um, working on a 2% risk as you build your account or perhaps can I say as you become older and wiser uh, you want to lower your risk because it makes trading so much easier now the big thing is how do we do all of this it sounds great looks great well, this is where we're after uh, between three and four trades a day typically to hit our 300 a day that's after any losses three to four trades a day which I'm going to show you how to do that on the charts in a moment 
now if you follow my plan here starting off with the micro which is 10% of value five dollars a tick in 12 weeks you've got that you can now roll over start trading the big contract within 23 weeks you're basically trading full-time if you wish if we want to call a couple of hours a day full-time uh, and away you go now I, I quite frankly I do have to say this and look I'd love to make to fluff this up day trading does take a couple of hours a day even if you're only trading for 30 to 40 minutes or an hour a day the reason is you've got to spend an hour in preparation time you've got to go over your charts is basically um, a syntax an order of things that I teach my members to do before they start live trading it's a bit like a uh, an athlete warming up you don't see them go out there and start doing 100 meter sprints without warming up we might warm up warm up on the simulator we'll be looking at our um, our our templates our charts our trading rules once again winning traders are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do so this is where you've got the potential in 23 weeks when you're ready to go live that is you start on the simulator and you go from there so the real question is now then how do we go for three hundred dollars a day so before I go to the charts here's what we need to consider if you're a brand new trader this is all going to be new terminology to you but it's very easy once you understand exactly what I mean by this okay that is a pivot level uh, you're we you want to where are those pivots where are our prior days open high low and close levels where are our EMAs the 89 and 200 particularly especially on your higher time frames your intraday swings and your current days high and lows why all of these become predictive levels so many of us will trade into these and use these as support resistance once you see them and they're predictive because they're self-fulfilling so many professionals we trade into these levels and off these levels if you've got divergence and you've got a pivot bounce as well the, the odds of a successful trade just went through the roof so let's get to the charts here so what I'm going to do I'm going to walk you through from the right hand side <coughs> excuse me um, and show you exactly what I'm looking for and I'll describe what I'm looking for and then we'll look at the was it four out of four whatever it was on this particular day I took okay now first of all um, for any members that are watching this and actually even for the general public here for, for new potential traders or new members see this here we call this angulation when you see price action angling strongly away and what you've got there that is yesterday's low and this is the current trading session low now these plot automatically so if you get uh, great divergence or uh, other reasons for taking a trade off these levels fantastic it increases your probability and see that black line that's a 600 EMA and that represents the 200 EMA on my anchor chart one and it may not mean a lot now but I want you to remember that because it'll make you a lot of money you'll be amazed at how often we bounce off that now as we make this higher high here this is called divergence you've got a higher high on price and you've got a lower high and this is called a zero lag MACD now from here uh, for members watching you also had a beautiful t3 there a t3 trade is, is a reversion to the mean trade where you don't have to have divergence which we happen to actually have divergence okay so let me just quickly go along because I don't want to go past 45 minutes with 29 minutes in now traders this is where as I start to see a pullback here I'm looking for a t10 and right there members we've got a uh, look you've got a t10 there you could wait a little longer there is another one right there so that's actually probably a better trade now when you've got a t10 traders I won't go into all the rules we don't have time or a t3 I'm going to target my 34 and the next time I'm going to target my next stop is the 89 EMA remember before I said the 200 and the 89 are critical this is what I 
want to be targeting now I wasn't trading here but if I was this is what I would be targeting now this is a six tick so it means that uh, I would be in here now so each step down one two three whoops now that only got to three I think I think that's three there four whoops that's not good I think that's four five six seven uh, I would be probably out of that trade now now that's seven steps let's just say seven now so that's ninety five dollars in that actually that's not correct what's seven fifteenths uh, one hundred and five dollars my apologies um, so um, just remember seven steps hundred and five uh, so five dollars covers your commission the hundred dollars is yours now usually we'll get a bounce so I wasn't trading so I can't remember what happens here but here we get a what do we got here okay now we've got a bounce and for members watching this this is a 2BD almost certainly going to be a 2BD now when we get a 2BD uh, it's a lower probability trade it's a setup straight after major divergence we've also got to look at we got yesterday's low so I'm not going to call this as a trade and in fact it would have been a nice trade okay I just wouldn't have taken that one uh, personally uh, because of this area here but never mind would have been a nice setup okay we come back down now I'm uh, just very wary of this area now and I can remember this now because it's very very flat so this is where I'm going to kick in with my anchor chart one so let me just um, minimize this because this is where this gets very important and the reason this gets important and in fact I had a trade right here as well now by not having my anchor chart open why is that a trade let me show you so let me expand the anchor chart one see that there we call that a t12 I'm bouncing off a downtrend in 200 EMA now I do know that I take this one we'll see in a moment because I remember there were three t12s and I jumped in on this t12 you'll see in a moment now what I can also see on a higher time frame my long-term stochastic is trending down my EMAs are trending down if you're a pure price action trader um, we can see here that we do have almost a symmetrical triangle setting up but let's go back to this here so you actually had an, a couple of trades there that I would have missed if I didn't well I wasn't in that one but by if you look at your anchor chart it gives you so much information then we pull back and now I'm in on this particular trade and this is a trade I took and it's called a T12 okay and I remember initially I was actually going to type in uh, and see this 600 EMA it's not exactly matching up there with the 200 but usually it does it's not a, not exact but it gets pretty close initially I was also thinking about um, I was thinking should have I perhaps entered here right but the anchor chart was trending down and down I went now where was my uh, exit with that one there what did I do there or did I uh, I might have still been in that trade and I jump I can't remember what I did here now uh, I entered that trade where was my exit? I think I exited down here somewhere down here uh, I then had uh, we call this a 21b so I also had a 21b and I went to break even plus on this one so I've got a rule that when I hit see these here once again I call these steps when I hit so many steps I go to break even so break even is my entry price my stop loss by the way is one tick above it would have been one tick above one tick above so I use pretty much uh, a rules based stop loss and I've got a rules based exit strategy as a scalper I'm after fixed targets I'm not after uh, I don't usually trail unless I've got something in front of me which is a really strong magnet so I got out of this trade here went to break even picked up a couple of ticks out of that one and that was a nice trade there as well now we then pull back 
and I've got another setup now what makes trading very simple traders is when you understand uh, what constitutes a trend what's the footprint to a trend for a short we want to look for a series of lower lows and lower highs for an uptrend higher high higher low higher high higher low now you can go into a period of consolidation as well but here I've got a lower low and uh, is it this one did I answer right here yep and this was a no-brainer so we would have been looking at that at the time okay so our EMAs are trending down and we call this a fanning of the EMAs uh, took a bit of heat as you can see and once again my stop would have been one tick above don't fiddle with this stop meaning if it looks like you're wrong looks like it started to go back there well if I get stopped it is no such thing as well perhaps I shouldn't say that but there's no certainties in trading there's only probabilities so there I took that trade that's my third trade thank you very much I wrote that down to here and you had by the way another um, trade entry there so if you had got out here there was another one just here and then I jumped in just here now one thing I haven't done is this let me expand the chart what is absolutely critical that regularly you do this doesn't matter which trading platform you're on what I can see up here I've got yesterday's of a current days high current days low I've got a pivot I've got yesterday's close all of these areas become major support resistance levels so if you're trading with the trend they become what we call pivot magnets okay so what I've got down below me here is the current days low now I actually had a bit of an error on this one and that is if I'm fairly close um, my entry here was fairly close where did I get in just here uh, I will usually extend my target and I failed to do that here and I can't remember why this is two days ago it's a long time ago in my world um, so what I'll usually do is front run these levels and what I mean by front run is not go for that exact level I will target usually two or three ticks above that level so normally I'm after what I call seven steps which is $105 here on this time frame or $70 per contract on the four tick and if I see I've got a major area support resistance down below I will target that increase my target and I remember saying this to members I don't know why I didn't do that just here okay now um, you can see there and look what happened there's a little bounce off that level and it did actually roll over and then continue down okay so there was some um, uh, some great trading opportunities are and you had another t3 uh, down here uh, and some great divergence by the way uh, but anyway uh, the point was there I could have got at least another thirty dollars per contract another hundred and fifty out of that move by targeting by increasing my target but instead uh, I went for one two three four five six seven so on my ATM my break even is plus five steps and my target is seven except when I want to go for a larger target such as what I should have done just there so in 23 minutes now traders will say why don't you keep trading because I have hit my target that's I prefer I'm a scalper I've got a profit target I go for and I'm happy to get out the young guns you might want to keep trading for hours but I like to um, get in get out get paid let me say that again get in get out get paid that's what I like to do you'll see that nearly always that I'm well and truly finished within one hour however once again to do this seriously you need to be committing at least two hours a day to really do what or to really be achieving these sorts of targets and let me also say um, I had a gentleman email me yesterday who said he's been attempting to trade for 10 or 15 years yet I make it look so easy and 
I don't want to make it sound that easy traders because if it's that easy everyone would would be doing it but if it's easy then because it is relatively easy but the easy things are also easy not to do that is not check for your red flag news every day there's a sequence of things we have to do on a daily basis by not reviewing our trading plan by not reviewing our trading rules you've got to have concrete rules based trading strategies that's what I do so virtually every setup that you see me take they've all got names because they're set setups that I'm trading t10s 2b's t3's why because they meet specific trading rules what that also means if you get it wrong or if you make sorry if the trade fails okay if you followed the rules that's okay right but you've got to have rules you can't fly by the seat of your pants unlike all traders or most traders do not all so what I said to this gentleman and if you're watching this video because you'll probably be on our list now is that um, so the time frames can affect you you'll write the right money management rules trading the right time of day with the right time frame trading the right trading strategies having a rules based strategy following the strict money management rules you never ever ever did I say ever um, uh, risk any more than 2% in any open positions at any one time even if they're non correlated markets you just want to just be conservative with your approach because there are old traders there are bold traders but there are no old bold traders meaning there's no cocky traders or if there is they usually keep blowing their accounts so traders come and join me um, come and join me in uh, some live sessions that is live coaching sessions uh, I run uh, two live sessions a week uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesdays and Wednesday evenings Eastern Standard Time uh, there's a hundred odd traders in each session and I run a live trading room three mornings a week that's separate for traders I recommend you always start off uh, being coached with my base program if you choose then to join the trading room you can as well okay so 197 gives you the works all of my indicators or dozens of videos and eight live sessions after the one month if you wish you can then sign up so you're not automatically signing up at a further 97 a month ongoing so traders um, are good trading I love day trading and I'll see you in my next video